inspirators once again back again welcome back to living with v uh, i have a good one for you this time y'all i got a good one uh it, it, it is a german chocolate cake and y'all know it's a lot of people's favorite yes it's one of my favorites too it's on my list what about y'all is it on y'all list too is it on your list where well, it's on mine, definitely. So um, I decided to go on and go with this one, y'all. And uh, because it's such, it's another one that, that almost everybody like. Who likes, who don't like uh, coconut and pecans roasted and all that good fineness and caramelized frosting? Who don't like that? <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead on and go with, we're going to go ahead on and go with uh, the German chocolate cake. All right, let's go with that German chocolate cake. Let's take this stroll. All right, let's take this stroll. Okay, inspirators. I'm gonna start out by showing you all what I am going to use in this German chocolate recipe. And I'm gonna start out with evaporated milk. And that is carnation milk, that is. And I also have one cup of sugar. And then I'm coming with Baker's German sweet chocolate. And that is the four ounce package. I will be using all of this. Next, I have four egg yellows, and of course, two has burst. Four egg yellows. Now, here I have pecans, and then I have coconut, well chopped coconut and chopped pecans. And all together, I have it in the pan as well, coconut and pecans. This will be roasted in the oven. And together, all of it together equals a cup and a half of coconut and a cup of pecans, well chopped. They both has been well chopped. And the pecans and coconut in the pan will be placed in the oven for roasting. Next, while they're roasting, we're also going to add a half cup of water into a saucepan on the eye to bring it to a boil for our chocolate. And the few minutes are up. Please do not forget those few minutes that your coconut and pecans are roasting because you will forget that they are in the oven in the process of making other things going on your other steps with your cake. Okay, here they are roasted and I'm gonna mix them up together well. When you roast them, they they bring out a, the coconut brings out a sweeter taste and a crispier taste. And the pecans bring out more of a crunch to your frosting. Okay, I have my half cup of water on boil, and we're gonna place our sheet of Baker's German chocolate, sweet German chocolate, into our water. And I'm gonna take it off the eye, I'm gonna remove it off the eye because the water is hot enough and it's gonna continue to melt on its own. And by the way, while we wait on this chocolate to melt and cool down, I'm gonna also be starting on the cake mix. And I'm gonna stir this chocolate in so that it all dissolve. This is a luxury cake. And the reason I say it's a luxury cake because it's, it requires a lot of decadent ingredients and it has a lot of steps. All right, I'm coming with two softened 
sticks of unsalted butter. And we're going to levelize that. And as you notice, I'm using my whisk instead of the paddle on Big Mama today. I'm starting out with the whisk, but you also can use the paddle as well. But the whisk is, I'm going to use it to a certain extent until I get to my alternation of flour and my wet ingredient. So right now I'm going to come also with a cup of sugar. I'm going to add that in there. Then I'm coming with another cup of sugar, which is two cups of sugar. And we're going to get that creamed up real well. We're going to do that for about seven to ten minutes. All right, we got it creamed up. And clean the bowl down to make sure everything's incorporated. Okay, while we're in this process, we're going to also put the four egg yellows in. I have four egg yellows. Of course, one is burst. <laughs> one has burst. And like once I said, like I mentioned before, you do not have to use the whisk. You can also use the regular paddle for the cake. But I just chose to do so this time because I also will be removing the whisk from Big Mama and place the paddle on her. And for the new viewers, always scrape your bowl down after every process. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the vanilla. I'm going to be doing two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla extract, that is. And I'm using the cap of the vanilla. It also equals a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to clean the bowl again. 
and I also will be will be removing the whisk and replacing it with the paddle. Get everything incorporated well. Then we're gonna remove that whisk and place it, replace it with a paddle. Okay, I have here two cups of all-purpose sifted flour. And I also have a teaspoon of baking soda in that flour. And I'm coming with a cup of room temperature buttermilk. And as y'all can see, I'm incorporating at least half of that flour in. I'm going to go on a half with the flour. Then I'll put another small portion in. And then we're gonna come with the remaining of the buttermilk. Y'all let me know in the comment if you all like German chocolate cake or not. You can just comment yes if you'd like to. You don't have to say anything else, just say yes. <laughs> I have a little funny saying about this this cake uh, when me and my sisters and stuff were, we were little I always used to say oh you, oh I like I like German Shepherd cake I like that German Shepherd cake <laughs> I always used to say that when I was little <laughs> but we know that is German chocolate cake <laughs> but I also want to thank the inspirators and everything for viewing this channel and being supportive of me I really want to thank y'all and I just ask of you all to keep the good work up and also um the viewers that I have stumbled across this channel, thank y'all for viewing and go ahead and click that subscribe button and that like button <laughs> if you like what you see. All right, as y'all can see here, I added the, the chocolate that I had melted is pretty much cooled down and I'm, I had added into the mix.
And this is what I mean about luxury cake. This cake has a lot of steps. And it just doesn't use the regular chocolate cocoa that we usually use. Okay, here I come with the egg whites. Yes, this is another step. To the people that are not familiar with making a German chocolate cake. We're gonna go on and run Big Mama until, we're gonna run our own high until it becomes a stiff peak. Okay, we got where we, we got it where we want it. And then we're gonna add it into the cake mix. Then we're gonna fold it into the cake mix. All right, we, we've reached that peak. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it in our well-floured nine-inch pans, greased and floured nine-inch pans. You can also use Baker's Joy. All right, I got all of them ready to go to the oven on 350 for 20 minutes. All right, while, that's, while those cakes are in the oven, we're gonna go ahead with our frosting. And I have one stick of softened butter. Then I also have one cup of evaporated milk that I just added. And then now I am placing four egg yolks into the mix. And I'm also coming with a cup of sugar. Okay, then I'm gonna go with my vanilla flavor, one teaspoon. And we're gonna mix all that in. Then next we're also gonna add a third of brown sugar in. And then um, we're gonna go in and stir it a, a bit. And we're gonna stir it until it is thick. Okay, as y'all see here, it has gotten thick and it also changes its color slightly when it gets thick, like a light caramel. So I also added a half teaspoon of salt into it. This optional if you choose to do so. And now I'm coming with the coconut and yes I I grounded my coconut real well I intended to tell you all that when I first started and this is the coconut and pecans that hasn't been roasted and the ones in the pan has been roasted that I'm pouring in 
the coconut and the pecans. They are mixed together and they are roasted. I'm placing them all into the mix. And to to stretch this mix out a bit, sometimes you might have to add a little bit more milk in it. Like if you think it's too thick, before you place the icing on your cake, the frosting on your cake, I'm sorry, you can thin it out a bit with uh, the evaporated milk if you have more left. And this mix makes four, no, it makes three cups. I'm sorry. It makes three cups of frosting. Now I'm going to place the second one on. I mean, you can really just eat this mix by itself, y'all. <laughs> it's so good. If you a coconut and pecan lover, and caramel, you can mix and eat that by itself. But here we are, here's the, here's the end result. Is it slice and dice time, y'all? This cake is made for a friend. And I want y'all to know I made me a cake. And I'm going to cut my cake and let y'all see how this cake look inside. Yes, I made a cake for a friend again. And I also had to make one for me. And by the way, he is a subscriber. And his name is Kenneth. Wheeler and I want to thank you Kenneth for giving me this idea for this video and I hope you enjoy this cake because it is moist it's very moist so I hope you enjoyed this cake Kenneth and once again, to my subscribers and viewers, I want to thank y'all for taking that stroll just to see how everything goes when living with V. Look at that, y'all. Yeah, ain't that just moist? Look at that moistness going on. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification bell. But once again, thank y'all for taking that stroll.